Right, well, we're in the village today of Wyberston in Suffolk. And this is the uh, Church of St George. So the first thing we notice as we just walk up here is that we've got a tarmac path instead of a gravel one, which is normal, leading up to this wooden porch. Lovely uh, leaves everywhere. And the grass is quite short here. But if we look at the church and see that we've got a um, rendered main area and then we've got this lovely flint tower which, as most of them do, does not look as old as the rest of the church. Just have a look here and you can see that we've got not as many headstones as you would expect as well. And that the, well, I think the main thing is that the um, the churchyard is so close to the the houses. I doubt whether that house was there originally. But you can see from the uh, and, uh, church now that um, we've got the lovely flint at the back on the, the rear extension, but we've got the rendering in the middle. But see, there's not that many headstones. There's a few old ones there, but not as many as you would expect to see. So obviously the churchyard's changed um, very much over the years. It's an old one here, but it's right close, or it's very close to the um, the wall and the uh, new houses that have been built recently. Well, in, in this uh, side of the churchyard here, we've can see because of all these beautiful mature trees we've got a, a, a really rich and deep covering of leaves, autumn leaves, <coughs> and it's um, beautiful to see and it's actually just such a lovely day today, look at that the sun shining through and just sort of look back and there's this glorious view of this church, just have a look at this actually, ah, oh, wonderful, I mean that is truly glorious. The sun is shining and the church is just bathing the sun and the colours from the you know when you have sun in the autumn it's coming so bright and low it the colours are just beautiful, the grass is just so green, the sky that we can see at least is blue. But the church is beautiful. It's bathed in all this sun but it, it is very close to these houses which obviously were built fairly recently. Um the gentle wind I think is just giving us a nice um, atmosphere here and sort of just have a look around you can see there's a number of older headstones here this part of the churchyard sort of resting in the shade of these very mature trees and there are some actually very interesting and impressive uh, graves here this this one here is just particularly as beautiful looks lovely there in the shade of these trees and then see they just look at a few more older ones here and obviously they, they seem to have kept more older ones or they've moved them to this part of the church I'm not sure but just behind there you can see that the church actually um, runs alongside um, or about, has a border with the f fields uh, beautiful Suffolk field. Oh, here's a lovely cross. Very chunky looking cross here, hidden amongst the the bushes. But the view from, from the uh, side, or the back of the churchyard here is just glorious. Beautiful countryside. At this time of year it's tremendous. But the church is just quite uh, isolated when you ignore the house that's next to it and just have a look over here you see we've got one of these graves here which has got a, a um, metal surround railings around it and it's been put on concrete I think this one here is to yes it's to it's a grave of a previous rector, 
of this church. So it's been here for, presumably, for over a hundred years. Get a good view of the rear of the church here with that large window. And all these headstones, and I never know whether they've moved them to the back of the church in this position or whether they just left them there. Uh, because it's strange that there's, they're in a row and then there, there are just none anywhere else. I mean, there are on this side of the church to the right as we're looking more um, recent headstones. But uh, there seems to be a big absence of older ones. But certainly the boundary of the church is has got plenty of um, trees and shrubs around it. There's the inevitable broken headstone by the look of it that's leaning up against the church. Lots of churches have that. So now we can get a um, better view of this side of the church and see that it's almost all rendered and you know the rendering of churches is quite common here and usually it tends to be the the middle section because that's the usually the older section and the rear is uh, newer they seem to do the pointing and make the uh, side of the church where the uh, where the porch is where the entrance is and then worry about just rendering the back, which I suppose is easier. And these windows look as if they were added at some time. They don't look original. Of course, you've got the windows up above, which is also um, an additional factor, I think, in the building of this church and development of the church over the years. Here we can see lots of new or more recent graves. It looks as if they've been well attended. Well, here we get a better view of the, uh, the tower, which of course is in lovely condition with lovely flint. Though it does look as if it's had buttresses that have been added on since it was built. Certainly a lot of work been done on that. I like that checkered effect on the edge of the uh, buttresses see that quite often. It's a lovely decoration feature. It looks really nice. It's done with the napped flint, of course. And I think the uh, people that look after this church certainly are gardeners because it's nicely laid out. And there's an area there with a little hedge around it. I don't know the significance because um, it's probably in memory of something or somebody. But uh, the leaves are covering up any all the ground, there doesn't seem to be anything obvious there. There's an unusual thing, there's a shrub in front of the uh, tower there, and just about nearly hiding that small window there with the squared off top, which is a lovely, that's a really nice window. You can see that the uh, buttresses there look newer than, newer than the, they're very big actually, newer than the uh, tower. Very large buttresses actually. I think this church is probably in some need of repair at some point. And, uh, buttresses were added. A few odd, um, the odd headstone here in front of the tower, but not a lot going on here in terms of graves. There's some over there on the uh, far corner of the churchyard. They look very old and very impressively important. Oh, there's a little gate here, uh, a side entrance is coming off a pathway, I guess. Another entrance into the uh, church churchyard. And this is a lovely spot here with all these leaves and the sun coming in. Look at them shining on top of that. Look at those graves. That's absolutely magnificent. Oh, it's so beautiful. Lovely time of the year to um, be looking at churchyards, especially on a day like this. And then here we can to look back at the church and get a lovely view. Look at that, and the sky behind it. 
all blue and a few fluffy clouds and the trees still got green on them, the shrubs and leaves on the ground. It's magnificent. And then, as I say, the um, the shrubs and at the side of the tower there and in front of it are very unusual. You usually see that. And just the odd headstone placed here and there. So we just come back over to the wooden, lovely wooden um, porch actually. Very unusual and very lovely. And we just have a look inside this church. Got a lovely cross, a wooden cross on the top. That's a very impressive view. Anyway, I think we'll just have a have a look inside this church now. Glass windows each side with leaded plain glass in them. section it's actually closed off which is the bottom of the tower interesting arch there where we've got flint exposed that's really quite nice all that napped flint that's really nice it's all set in stone there that doesn't look that old at all my guess is that this church had some major repair work at some time. That's been done really nicely. And we've got some older pews. Oh, and look. Now that is absolutely wonderful. I've never seen that before. We've got these pews here and they've all got their own little radiators. That is just brilliant. Brilliant. And the other side is the same. Well, that is, that is unusual. That's fantastic. And these pews do look very old. You can see by the state of the wood here in this one. And you know, these carvings look very old. So here we can see now that um, We've got these large windows at the bottom, which I'm guessing weren't here originally. And then the small ones added just above. Certainly well lit. We can see here, of course, that the font is in the middle of the church and just sort of walk by it and get a better look down to the altar. So we've got another couple of sections of pews. And yes, they've got radiators as well. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm just so impressed with that. Both sides got radiators. Must be really cozy here <laughs> on a cold Sunday. We come a bit closer now to where the uh, altar is and got plain glass windows basically but there's bits of colour in them. Very, very ornate at the top but those 
Those windows at the top, I must admit, look a bit odd. They just seem to have been an afterthought. I mean, that one there doesn't even seem to gel too well with that big one underneath it. Very strange, that. There's a doorway there or something that looked as if, with little steps, it looked as if uh, it went up, originally up, up there. That's all been bricked in. This side is plain glass. There again with the small windows up above. They've got a rope system to uh, to open the window. And the pulpit here is in the corner. It's quite low. That looks a very old wooden pulpit. And then we've got an amazingly old looking screen full of really nice carvings. That was all originally painted, I guess. It looks like it was painted and perhaps at some point all the painting's been taken off. This one seems to have more, or maybe it's just was it that it was stained. Amazing carvings. They really are lovely. And then we this section of the church here's got large sort of quarry tiles and carpet running down the centre. Just step up. Something here on this. These are, the seating here is much more modern. The organ is lovely, that's an absolutely beautiful organ. It's very unusual, it's, it's like a, something out of an expensive Edwardian house. Absolutely beautiful organ. Now we've got the, I think the only stained glass window in the church that I've seen here. And it's a very intricate, very dark, imposing and quite impressive actually. Window. Set it there again in a lovely arch. All the walls here are plastered and painted. Got some memorials on the wall. And we've got a Another radiator here, with a dado coming round. And the floor here is sort of quarry tiles. Nice diamond pattern around where the altar is. Another one of those old chests where I, I guess they kept the valuables, maybe moved them around. Nice to see them on display because they certainly are impressive. And they're, I mean, how old are they? That must be f f four or five hundred years old. Very, very nice. So that's 1903. He died, this man. Oh, sorry, it's Alice. Alice Arnold, born in 1870, died in 1903. So if we stand here, with our back now to the altar, looking down at the tower end of the church, you see that font is in an impressive spot at the end there. The sun just shining. It's, it's even getting stronger now, the sun is shining onto the font, that's lovely. It's quite plain though, the church in the uh, the walls, they're all painted and... They look plain, uh, I, 
the ceiling is dark, very inter intricate. This part of the, the where the part where I am at the moment, where the altar is, is painted. But the uh, main part of the church is all the big wooden ceiling, typical of these churches. But very nice. It's a big one. Very nice. But the walls are very plain. But a church with radiators in every pew. It's amazing. Worth noting that we've got a lovely brick floor. The design is made of bricks and it's very unusual. We've got quarry tiles, red quarry tiles at the side. And we've got this diamond effect. It's very unusual. Just the odd few things on the wall there. One over there in wood. One here in wood. Obviously an old artifact. There's a memorial of some sort here. Then we've got a candle here with a box of matches. Now we've got a lovely view here of the sun shining through onto this font. I certainly uh, care for the parishioners here because we've got a curtain to keep the da draft out and radiators in every pew. I am very impressed. Looks lovely with the uh, the light coming through, reflecting on the wall over there. Very nice. The sun is just even getting brighter as we just close the door here on this church. walk out into the autumn sunlight. So that's the Church of St George in the village of Wyverston and what a lovely picturesque church that is. Absolutely beautiful with a fabulous village churchyard and at this time of the year where the grass is all covered in leaves, the sun shining that autumn, that warm autumn glow, really attractive. <laughs>